my colleagues, the media. We have a communique after, uh, which we drafted after a two-day retreat at Yankari. The communique was adopted, was ratified and adopted by the whole Congress of the Coalition of Northern Groups, made up of the National Executive Council, the state executives and the students' wing. <clears throat> so we read quickly, it's not uh, huge. The Coalition of Northern Groups, CAG, today concluded this year's annual retreat that commenced on Friday, 12 August 2022 with national and state executives of the CNG and executives of its students' wing from the 19 northern states in attendance. Deliberations at the retreat concentrated on five major issues as follows. One, privacy insecurity exacerbated by A, weak response. B. Rising poverty. C. Defense corruption. And looming humanitarian crisis. Number two, 2023 elections. Number three, university workers strike. Number four, IPO and United Nations interference. And number five, structural reforms. Insecurity. The retreat noted the largely unchecked escalating security situation that is crippling the northern Nigerian economic and educational viability, leaving thousands dead, millions displaced, and thousands more dispossessed. We also noted the rise in crime and violence in the north associated with the disabled level of poverty, weak, inefficient, ineffective, and insufficient government response, absence of political will and capacity in addition to defense corruption. The retreat noted with concern the inevitability of the certainty of a serious humanitarian crisis that potentially threatens not only the North or Nigeria, but the entire Sub-Saharan Africa. Crisis overview, incidency, a decade-long Boko Haram conflict with no end in sight has led to one of the world's most severe humanitarian crises with an estimated 27,000 people, most of them civilians, the retreat noted that some 8.4 million people in the northeast states of Borno, Adamawa, and Yobe will need humanitarian aid in 2022. Of this, 2.2 million are internally displaced. 1.5 million are returnees who lack essential services and livelihoods and 3.9 million are members of communities force. Poverty. The retreat noted that all over northern Nigerian communities, hunger is taking millions of homes. Inflation is making life difficult by the day. People are losing jobs. Businesses are closing down. Infrastructure is decaying. Your people are losing hope. Hospitals are full of people who suffer mysterious diseases and they cannot afford the fees. This situation exacerbates the security situation and poses severe threat of greater conflict. Resolutions. On the security situation, the retreat resolved to one, meet governors of northern states to present and discuss a comprehensive action plan 
put together by the CNG to check the situation. Two, to demand an immediate and transparent comprehensive investigation into allegations of defense corruption running into billions of Naira. Three, to demand urgent government explanation on what is inhibiting the ability of Nigerian armed forces to effectively, to effectively, what I listen to effectively tackle the insurgent threats in the northeast, banditry and kidnappings in the northwest, as well as respond to the secessionist violence in the southeast. Oil bunkering in the Niger Delta, the, the, the conflicts in the north central, and the threats of maritime piracy in the Gulf of Guinea. The retreats reserved, the retreats reserved, I, sorry, yes. humanitarian issues, the retreats resolved to alert the nation to wake up to the magnitude of the humanitarian disaster that Boko Haram and activities of bandits have created. Humanitarian issues. Not unmindful of the commendable rehabilitation of efforts going on in the Northeast, the retreat resolved to alert the nation to work up to the magnitude of the humanitarian disaster that Boko Haram and activities of bandits have created. And one, to warn of the imminent dangers of neglecting millions of our fellow citizens who are eternally displaced and hundreds of thousands of orphans with hunger and malnutrition previously unknown to our land becoming alarming features of existence. <coughs> Two, to warn that dealing with this humanitarian disaster will require a stronger political will and deployment of the highest administrative and managerial competence that those in live today. Three, to recognize that the simultaneous challenges of continuing the fight against Boko Haram, rehabilitating IDPs and rebuilding lives, communities and infrastructure will require the best in leadership capacities. Four, that the current quality of coordination of efforts, management of skills and resources, and the capacities and integrity of government agencies do not do justice to the magnitude of the problems or address the sense of urgency in dealing with an escalating disaster. Five, to demand government to overhaul the existing institutional mechanisms involved in dealing with the management of the humanitarian disaster before the problem becomes much worse than it is. On 2023 elections, the retreat resolved to call on the Northern voters to remain ever vigilant on the direction the coming round of fresh elections will take by one, resisting the temptation to vote solely across political party, region, tribe, or religious basis, and instead choose to insert a credible leadership that could see the nation through and out of its current situation from, if needs be, even the so-called peripheral parties. Two, to demand from every candidate seeking Northern votes to provide comprehensive programs for the development of the region and promotion and protection of northern interests around security and the economy. Undue United Nations interference. The retreat resolved to reiterate the CNG's position 
against undue interference by the international community, particularly the United Nations, in the internal security affairs of the country, and to, one, caution the United Nations to desist from allowing some of its officials to drive it into international disrepute by interfering in particularly the matter of the trial of the IPOP leader, Nandi Kambo. Two, to caution the Nigerian authorities against succumbing to undue pressure from whatever quarter so as to avoid setting a dangerous precedence in the country. Three, to question the interest of the United Nations in the legitimate trial of an accused whose actions and utterances duly qualify him as terrorist in the context of what the international treaties and conventions ratified by the United Nations itself. Closure of universities. The retreat ratified the following four resolutions by the students wing on the legal crisis between the federal government and unions of universities resulting in the indefinite closure of universities and higher institutions. One, to first and foremost direct state chapters to meet with their respective state chapters of us to gain real insight into their grievances and the level of government commitment. Two, to take drastic action to attract greater local and international attention. Three, to wage a sustained widespread online campaign. Four, to condemn unequivocally the obvious double standards and deception by the Nigerian Labour Congress with its unexplained silence on its pledge to resume a three-day nationwide solidarity protest several days after the expiration of their two weeks' 